Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the video scheduler internal error code IGDKMD64.SYS on your Windows 11 computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue and is typically associated with a faulty or corrupt display driver. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and you want to go ahead and search for device manager. Best match, or come back with device manager. So go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the display adapter section, so double click on it. And then right click on whatever display adapter is listed under here and select update driver. Select the browse my computer for drivers button and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. You want to select the manufacturer specific one if possible, otherwise you can select a basic display adapter that comes built in with Windows. And then you will proceed to select next. Give it a moment here. And then once that's done, hopefully that's been able to resolve the issue. If you're still having a problem, you can open up a web browser and then using whatever display driver was listed underneath device manager under the display adapter settings, whether it was NVIDIA or AMD, you can go ahead and navigate to their respective website and just go ahead and open it up. And then if you go up to the top right, you can select drivers and then just search for the product type in the series. And then you can select the search button, which will then populate available drivers for your computer. You can go ahead and select the download button at that point and go ahead and download and install them. You'll, you can do the same exact process for AMD as well. So if you did AMD drivers, for example, just AMD drivers and support. They do have an auto detect tool as well. I believe NVIDIA does as well on top of that. And you go ahead and select the hyperlink versus AMD drivers and support. And you can select the auto detect tool for Windows 10 and Windows 11. You just go ahead and download that. NVIDIA used to have one for Windows 10 and Windows 11, I believe. For some reason, I don't think they have continued to support it for the newest versions of Windows for some reason. There may be another tool available, but I'm just not aware of one at this present time. But we go ahead and select install. We're just going to kind of walk through an AMD auto detect here. Generally, the auto detect tools I prefer because it leaves less room for guessing, I would say. This is a pretty automated process. So if you have an AMD uh, display driver, definitely recommend using their auto download tool. In NVIDIA, you kind of have to just search it up uh, specifically based on your system information. And again, you can see it wasn't able to proceed because I do have an NVIDIA graphics card, but it's on my host machine. It's not being detected in this virtual environment. But like I said, if you need more information about your display driver, you can go through Device Manager. You can also open up the search menu and type in System Information as well. And if you open that up, so on the left side, you would select the component section, click the little plus next to it. And then you can go down and select Display and just give it a moment here. And then on the right side, it would give you information regarding your display driver information, driver version as well. So this should be all the information you need. Again, since I'm in a virtual environment, it's not going to really display exactly how it would on real hardware, but this should give you a pretty good direction as to what your graphics card information is. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.